She was really nice. Like, I talked to her on the phone. Going out of town tomorrow. The vibes are good. what is up welcome back it is me rachel so today's video is going to be a prep and pack for saint thomas with me so before we get into the video make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and if you like the video make sure you like comment and share with everybody you know so today's video is kind of going to be like a vlog um basically like a self-maintenance vlog because today i'm going to get my hair retwisted finally i'm getting some two strand twists and i'm finally getting my locks repaired so i have a few weak locks in the back of my head i talked about them in another video that has not been uploaded yet hopefully by the time you guys see this video that video will already be up so today has already been very very hectic it is wednesday and it's around 11 o'clock and there was a power outage around my area today. Something happened with the power line and the transformer and there was like this huge like boom that really scared me. <laughs> and then the power like flicked off for a couple seconds, but my internet is still not on and my fridge and my freezer is like out. I was supposed to get my hair done at one o'clock, but the stylist texted me and asked if I could come in earlier and so it just works out perfect. So ready to get this hair done. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Dang, it looks like my battery for my camera is about to die soon and I forgot to bring my battery. So I just probably have to use my phone, but I just pulled up. So I've never been to this lady before. I stay going to new people, y'all. Like, it's like every time I get my hair done, I go to somebody new. But <laughs> she was really nice. Like, I talked to her on the phone. I sent her pictures of my hair and I sent her like pictures of what um, like the weak spots in my locks look like. She said it would be a quick and easy fix, so. I'm excited and this is where this salon is is not too far from where I used to live so like even though I moved to the city of Atlanta like and I'm really in like a central location from all like suburban areas but I always just like prefer to um, take care of my stuff and do stuff um, in areas that I know because I like grew up around here so
right y'all so i am all done with my hair i just got regular two strand twists and she repaired my locks you guys and i got a good video to show y'all um of her doing it she actually ended up cutting off like two of my locks because she said she was trying to um like repair them without cutting them off but it just was like making it worse the more she tried so she just cut it off and then reinstalled them and i felt them and they're nice and secure now she said i had a couple other locks that were weak but she didn't fix those today she said if they continue to get worse or like next time i come to her if i want to get them done again i can i love when my hair is retwisted like I really prefer a retwisted look, but I just don't ever be getting my hair retwisted. <laughs> like, it's so pretty. So, I'm outside of um, this place where I'm about to get waxed. So, this is by where I used to live. And I made sure to come here today because I was in the area. And they have $30 waxes that are like spectacular. Now, I used to be able to get like two for 50 and I used to be paying 25 each, but you know, inflation, they started charging 30. So in the city at like Brazilian Wax by Andrea in Midtown, they raised their prices to like 40, five like 45 or 48 and they used to be 35 just because something is more expensive does not mean that it's better like and that's what i have been like learning as i've been getting older just because stuff costs more doesn't mean that it's better i actually have an appointment for four o'clock and i'm early so it's like 3 30 but i hope that i can just go in and like not have to wait so I could just leave. And then I'm gonna go to my dad's house after this to say hey, to chill, to get some food. <laughs> Hopefully when I go back home though, my power is back on, like my fridge and freezer were out. So hopefully like none of my food went bad. So yeah, I'm gonna holler at you guys later. I'm so in love with my hair. Okay, hey y'all, so I'm all finished for today. So I'm gonna check in with you guys maybe tomorrow. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, so I still need to get a COVID test, and I need to get my nails done. Oh, these nails are horrid. I wanted the press-on nails to come off. Remember in my other vlog, go check out that weekly vlog, y'all. I'll link it here, but I did press-on nails, and they're supposed to last for a week, and they were beautiful for a week, but now some aren't coming off. Like, some com came off and some aren't coming off so this is looking really like not cute so i decided that i'm going to take my covid test right now so i just chilled at my folks house for a little bit and there's like this new area around here that they built up and they built a brand new piedmont urgent care so my stepmom said that she came over here a couple days ago and she was able to get um her pcr results in like two hours and there was no wait this knocks it out because i was going to go on either tomorrow or friday but to go to St. Thomas, you need to provide negative test results within five days of travel. So today is the 23rd and we're traveling on the 27th. So that's four days. So I'll definitely I'll definitely be in the clear. But after this, I'm just going to go home and then I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. <music> Hey y'all, I feel spring approaching. So I'm about to go get my nails done and it's literally 75 degrees outside and I'm literally going outside with just this jacket on and my dress and some slides. Not much was going on today. Today was my last day of work before I go on vacay. I think I just wanna get a French tip, just a regular basic cute French tip. I don't even think I wanna get nails added. I think I want them very short, um, but hopefully like they still look cute because my natural nails have a little bit of length. It should be just enough to look really cute. And then I'm gonna get a pedicure and probably get French tip on my toes. So like I had told y'all, in order to travel to St. Thomas or the Virgin Islands, you have to 
provide proof of a negative COVID test. It could be either a rapid test, an antigen rapid test, or a PCR test, and then you have to upload those results to the Virgin Islands travel portal and then you have to wait like a couple hours for them to like approve everything. Then they give you like this QR code to make sure you're all set. So I am all set a couple days in advance. It's Thursday, I don't travel until Sunday. So it feels good to have my stuff done early. So I was walking out of my complex, right? And I hate when this happens because it makes me seem like I am so rude. So like one of my neighbors was parked but he was like getting something out of his car and i had seen that he was there but it looked like he didn't see me so and it looked like he was doing something so like i didn't want to be like hey because like a lot of times when i be like doing that people be like blowing me off and stuff and i'll be feeling crazy so i just didn't end up saying anything because i thought he was busy but then he saw me and he was like hey friend and then I was like, oh, snap, hey, like, and I feel bad because I'm like, he probably thinking like, dang, she just looked at me and did not speak. Like, if I didn't speak, she wasn't going to say nothing. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely body these. They're so cute. Hey y'all, happy Friday. So I'm about to head out to get my lashes done. And I have some clothes in the washer that I put in about an hour ago. And I'm trying to let them finish before I walk out the door so I can put them in the dryer. But they're taking like a long time and it's 1.40. I need to be there before two o'clock. It's only like 15 minutes away from me, but um, Autumn recommended her to me and she said that like where the lady is, she um, is really confusing to find. And I'm terrible with directions. So I honestly might just leave my clothes. <laughs> they should be okay though. I went on the girl's page and I have found some styles that I'm gonna show her. So I want my lashes very not long and very not full and not thick. Like I want a cat eye because I just do not think that like super duper full lashes will look good on my eyes. And like when I've gotten them in the past, I have not liked how full that they've looked sometimes. So this is like one picture I'm gonna show her. This is pretty. And I like the cat eye. And then she did another one. I think these are shorter. I don't know whether I like the shorter ones or the longer ones the best, but I'ma just ask her like, hey, do whatever you think will look good on my eyes. We're back and just got my lashes done. I like them. They're a tad bit long <laughs> but I think I do like them and I'm probably gonna like them even more as the days go by it took her so it's about five o'clock now it, it's like 4 53 and I got here at like two but of course I was late it took me a long time to find the place so I didn't end up getting like to her place to like 2 10 so it took her like two and a half hours kind of a long time but she was cool we were chatting it up so i need to go home and do some packing like i don't want to wait to do everything until tomorrow so i'm gonna go work out tomorrow and then i need to make a few i need to stop by target because i need to pick up a few things before i go so i want like a travel size deodorant um yeah, I want to travel size deodorant. My eyes are burning like just a little bit, but I also want to get some Aquaphor and some aloe vera gel. The past two times that I've gone out the country, like and gone somewhere tropical, my eczema has just acted out. Like when I went to Cancun end of 2020, by the time I left, I was tore up from the floor up. And then when I went to Costa Rica, I was tore up for the, from the floor up. <laughs> like, 
for real like my my eczema just gets super duper activated like when the sun hits and it's already kind of acting up now i think because the weather is changing a little bit and so i'm going to be combating that i'm going to be wearing so much sunscreen i'm going to be hydrating my skin with aloe vera gel and aquaphor because i do not want to feel uncomfortable at all like i'm about tired of eczema it's like i've literally had eczema since i was six and it's come every year like two times a year because it comes every time the seasons change so it's getting very old i started packing just a little bit so i started with my swimsuits that's all i've really done and i got my suitcase out and i am going to be using these suitcase dividers so these are really the goat so i'm gonna link these in my description box because these make packing so much easier so it's like you can take so much more stuff with these and just fit a whole bunch more stuff um, and make it easy to separate all of your clothes so that's all I'm gonna do for tonight because I'm getting really tired but at least like tomorrow um, I'll just have to get my outfits and all my toiletries and everything and then we'll be set hey y'all happy saturday so my day didn't start like how i wanted it to i wanted to work out today but i actually forgot to sign up for my class and of course it got two packed and i had to get on the wait list and i never got in so instead i'm at the store my eyes are like on fire today they got worse like I thought they started getting irritated so they didn't really hurt when she was done like at all I mean like they burned a little but then they like stopped um but then like later into the evening they started getting really sore like really really sore not like burning but very very sore and I was like okay I'll go to bed and hopefully um oops and hopefully when I wake up like it's better but actually when I woke up this morning I feel worse like my eyes just are mad mad sore like super sore and it's only it's not the top of my eyes it's only the bottom and like if you can see my eyes are red on the bottom so I was kind of like freaking out because I'm like dang it's literally always something but um i think it's because of the tape like i think the tape was a little too close to um i don't know i guess the tape was just a little too tight and i guess my eyes are are very sore from the tape and plus i have very very sensitive eyes and very like watery eyes so i think it just was like a lot going on with that but hopefully it goes away in like two to three days but i'm gonna pick up some eye drops just in case like i need them to get the redness away because it's like i can deal with soreness as long as that goes away in a couple days but the redness you can't really tell right here but okay it looks bad like no i can't do this hey guys i'm in the middle of packing and so i have to try on every outfit before i put it in my suitcase so i mean i've already tried this on before but I want to see like exactly how it looks with my bathing suit on too. So I'm watching Arnell right now, watching her vlog, and I'm feeling really good. It's a beautiful Saturday, and I'm going out of town tomorrow. The vibes are good. I am packing early. Typically, I pack literally the night before, but we're all good so this is what i have right now so i want to be very particular <laughs> with everything that i wear so i'm separating everything by each day um just so like when i get there i am not like scrambling for what i'm gonna wear so yeah i started packing my swimsuits last night um and have them right here but decided to take them out um, cause I wanted to see like what swimsuit I'm going to wear each day and then what outfit I'm going to wear at night. My room is kind of like a mess because I had to bring out my summer clothes. So I'll be having, um, my summer clothes in baskets in my closet. So I had to grab that and then I have my summer shoes that I had to bring out and I have to see like which ones I'm going to bring. 
Um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to bring a whole lot of stuff that's very like me um, because I just feel like, you know, certain outfits require different shoes, different purses, and this is a special occasion. This is vacation, so you have to step, right? Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. So when I laid everything out, it didn't look like a lot of clothes, but now that I'm like recording, it looks like a ton. But the way I'm about to squeeze all these into um, these little bags, it's gonna make everything better. <laughs> so I wanted to iron my clothes before I folded them and packed them, but honestly, like I just don't really feel like it. Hopefully there's an iron at the villa so i'm gonna go ahead and load all this into their bags Okay, this is all nice and neat. My folding is not that neat, but at least everything is put up. I had to do a little bit of fighting to zip this one all the way up because I didn't notice that these two weren't the same size. Okay, so this is where it gets a bit hectic. I have my toiletry bag and then I have like a number of sunscreens and then I'm going to put some makeup in this small makeup bag. Okay y'all, so it's like seven and when I went out this morning, I forgot to go to the ATM even though I was right by Bank of America, but I forgot to go and get some cash. So I'm about to run out and get me some small bills just to have. And so I wanna hurry up and get out of here so I'm not out too late and I'm gonna get me something to eat too. So I haven't finished packing just yet um, cause I wanna run out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog. Um, if I continue to record myself packing, I'm going to put the footage here. But um, thank you guys so, so much for coming along with me on my prep and pack video. It was a little bit chaotic, but um, I'm glad I did it. <laughs> so um, thank y'all again for watching and I will see you guys in St. Thomas. Thomas.